Welcome everybody, Drake Hawkins with you, and today we're going to be watching some of the stream archive we have of our old world uh, Let's Play on twitch.tv slash clan Hawkins. You can uh, find the links down below to uh, join up there and watch them live, or you can just get them here as I put them up uh, in one hour chunks for you. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it, and we'll get right back into the stream. Thank you. He just became severely ill? He wasn't even ill at all. Man, that... Uh-oh. He had dinner. Dinner with the scouts. Choose research. Um, war elephant unit. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, we need we need our pastures. We are desperately needing food. <clears throat> okay, this guy had an order that I was going to do. Right away. Barracks. I remembered. Excellent. You, keep building roads. Connect the cities. You are lower priority. Where's the other builders? Any other builders going on? You guys are not busy. Okay. You're going to head down. Uh, do we head down or do we build a barracks, barracks here? You know what? I think we head them down. Keep the workers doing other things for now. I'd really like to get a road in through here too. Um, it's kind of a low priority thing because I think... They, oh, wait. Are these connected? They should be. They are. Look at that. They allow this road, they can sail down this place, this river, all the way to connect everything there. They cannot, however, make it up there. These two cities are not connected. Hello, Nubians. Or Numidians. That's somebody else. Uh, okay, you can pro upgrade now. You can up. Oh, you can upgrade to Mason or Spearman. Hmm. Which do we go with first? We have no supply for trees, so we would have to buy them, which we can't do. So maybe we upgrade an amazement. Opportunistic. I notice they, they tend to spend reinforcement, send reinforcement from nearby settlements when you attack one of their settlements. Yes, which is a great improvement and preventing stomping the tribe so easily. Yes, it is. That's why I didn't want to aggro any of these tribes yet. Uh, you guys can upgrade to an archer, but we don't have the lumber for that. So that's fine. I'm actually going to put you to sleep right now. Go to sentry. So you'll just do nothing until until orders are given. Uh, we're going to build another worker here. Because we're going to spend all of our orders on workers. And then we're going to go with the forum treasury thing. And probably straight into a festival. In fact, I'd like to kind of think about adding festivals to most of the cities at this point. These guys are getting quite upset. They're 50. They're halfway there already the next one so let's throw uh you can throw inquiry in and then festival no let's go festival then inquiry here nifur you have the level one form i'd love to get the level two form as soon as possible in fact i think babylon can do that we should do that uh stone cutter yes right 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 we queued up a stone cutter there. that's awesome we could put another one in we could also put a specialist in the wood cutter to increase our science per year and our rural specialists. Oh, he gets two. Ooh. Plus three lumber. So he gets plus three wood per year, which right now this place produces six. So he gets half of that amount again, plus a science, plus another science. Hmm. But I think maybe. How are you guys doing? No, you're still level one. All right, we can, we can pop one of those in there, and then we can do the festival. Excellent. And one more thing to the right, to the capital, they can do forum two, and treasury two because we are uh, our city is uh, is in the developing stage. It's actually stage one, developing one. Notice that there's an I before that. Developing one. There is two stages of developing, so you need to get 400 points before you get to the. I don't remember what the next one's called. Okay, <laughs> strong, maybe. Uh, developing is there, and then it is a culture level. Yeah, strong, and then legendary. Um, so, jeepers. They're building a settler for two in two years. Is that a smart plan? We have nowhere to put him. Legit nowhere to go with that guy. Probably not a great idea. Now, do the Scythians over here are one of, eh? Is that a good place to go? It's down our river. Oh, I like that idea. Hum, we have four units that could easily smush those guys. I think we probably are going to turn left. Probably going to go a little aggro there. Uh, okay, so you could do the hunt. Get 100 food, which you definitely need. 
and you could help that. Now, the other thing is he's level one. He's getting two. Defending family military unit. Oh, right. Okay, because we have an archer here, it, it reduces the expense of, or the loss of discontent. So does that, does a military, or militia affect Legendary rolls out infinitely a thousand culture per tier to allow the culture to keep on happening. Oh, really? That's cool. Um, question. Does anybody know if a militia, and I assume it does, does a militia count as a family, a defending family military unit in the city? I would assume it does. In which case, I would put one of these in every city. So that they always have that advantage both for defense and for uh, the fact that, like, the slinger, what's the archer cost? The archer consumes two wood per turn. Militia only consumes one food. Right? He's basically a slinger, but better. Is he a melee unit? He's a melee infantry unit. Strength of three. I mean... Men in doubt, build those mighty militia. I feel like having more troops sitting around is probably not going to hurt us. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this. I've never done this before. I've never built militia except for by accident. So I think we're going to do that. All right, I like that. I like that idea. Now, Council 2 is interesting. Um, I don't know that we got Council 1 at any point, but I think that's because we are, we've are we hit the developing stage, maybe. Uh, it'll improve. We could actually spend the turn gaining extra money and like 14 bucks a turn it would be big. We could make this city just kind of make money and civ and uh, uh, law for us if we didn't need anything else urgently, which is which is pretty awesome. All right, next unit. Uh, how are we doing on moves three? Go over this way. Uh, do we grab? No, well, you know what? That's too far away for him to harvest. Right, we can harvest that for 18 bucks, but it's too far away for them to harvest anymore. Interesting. These are just not harvestable. Uh, Slinger is greater than Militia for sure, especially since they upgraded to Archers. Um, yes, I, I guess I agree that they are, but they're also a lot cheaper to make. And um, they're maintenance. Cannot train or earn XP. Hey, we might need to rethink that. We might need to rethink that. At least they're all at the end of the queue for like, you know, 12 years, 14 years down the road. He won't have to... King Chad won't need to deal with that. No, no, no. It'll be this lo lovely lady. Time passes quickly. You still remember the birth of Princess Demictum. Okay, uh, but she's growing up fast and eager to learn. Now, we can pick what she's going to go into... Does she have any features right now? Right now, she has charisma. I would before I would have been like, oh, let's distribute this. But no, 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 no. We go with rhetoric to gain her more charisma because she's going to be the leader, which means those stack. I like it. Let's try that. See if she'll take to charisma or to uh, rhetoric as a as an education. There's events that cause them to not take to said thing. Okay, before we go any further with you, let's see what other builders do we have that are in motion. These are civilian units. There, there, and okay. So that's nothing. literally nothing else we can do with you. Uh, I am going to move you over and connect you your road. You know, run your roads all the way across, and then you can go all the way east as well. Uh, military units. Oh, hello. Hello, Roman chariot randomly showing up in my in my neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. He's just, uh, he's just chilling out there. There's no nefarious behavior going on. Nope, nope, nope. None at all. Super safe. Okay, you are... You can get to uh, resting. I'm just sentry for a little bit. You guys are definitely going to head down there. Um, both of you? I think we're... I think I might actually swap these guys. Uh, reason being, you can get up there. there he, the archer's a lot stronger. I don't have the resources to upgrade this guy to a slinger. Or from a slinger to an archer. And I do have uh, this archer here. If we put this guy up here, he'll give the reduction of the morale or the uh, 
whatever. It'll, he'll fix the discontent slide there in the city a little bit. And he, this guy's much stronger, so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Explore. Hey, who are you? What? Hey, what? Syria. Hi, we know you. You're the food guys. You're the food friends, aren't you? You're those guys that like poisonous food. Either that or you just have bad hygiene. All right, end the year. Especially ill. Uh-oh. There it is. The doctors and diviners have warned you that the end is nigh. Dum, dum, dum. Time to get your affairs in order. Oh, boy. We have a child heir. Uh-oh. Oh, phew. I thought that was my runaway princess. <laughs> I said, no, we can't have another little, little, or littler one. Uh, late one evening, there's a knock at the door. Agrippina, heir of Rome, of the Roman throne, stands outside. Mm, the young princess has led, has, uh, has fled her palace with hopes of escaping her responsibilities. She wishes to hide from her father's agents in Rome and start a new life here. It's only a matter of time before Roman soldiers arrive at our gates. Uh-huh. Return Agrippina to Rome. It's a family affair, not ours. Now, uh, she becomes bitter. So that affects her overall. She's the heir, right? So minus charisma for the future heir. Um, that may have other effects on us. Uh, the king becomes obliged to us, gaining 40 opinion. <clears throat> and she becomes disappointed... Uh, she becomes disappointed with King with us, so minus eighty opinion. So her her daddy o here is forty six. I'm dying right now. This is the last year. This is the last major decision he gets to make. So that's unfortunate. Uh, we could uh, she could become a fugitive, is endeared to us, and the Roman king becomes suspicious. He also loses his heir. So that's you know a different thing. Let's see what this is. <clears throat> Return Agrippina and claim she attempted to sell Roman secrets. <laughs> that cruel thing has given us some interesting... Oh my goodness. She gets executed for it. Um, Rome is happy with us for saving them of the evil, evil <laughs> spy in their midst. And we become cunning. All rulers become... Oh, this is just too good. Everybody's happy with us. She's dead. Rome lost her heir. This is so outrageous. Man, this, all for not letting helping kids. I guess there's uh This is telling us that now we shouldn't help children anymore. The moral of the story is... <laughs> Life lessons. Uh, what is this? It wants us to build a hamlet. Oh, yes, it does. Mm-hmm. Theaters and baths, village in 10 years. In 20 years, but it's actually 10 years. I think we got to put them into luxury here. We haven't done that forever. I forgot all about that. So, oh, we can't? What? Oh, no trees. Can we buy it? Alt? Yes, we can. We'll buy those trees because three years for that would be lovely. You are going to pop down here. You are going to build a road. You are going to pop over here. You are going to build a road. You are have the road there. You are going to go right here and you are going to build... Oh, hello. That road costs 10. That road it costs 20. Interesting. So if we build this way, that's 10 stone. Not going over the hills. Who would have thunk? It's cheaper on the resources. Very cool. I mean, obviously, but it didn't feel like that's something you would automatically do. Off with her head. <laughs> Besides, you're dying anyways, and their opinion of you will be a short-lived event. Uh, you're right. Of course it will be. Now, I don't know if that, what it carries over to, like, it's not family opinion, so it's opinion of me. Does that affect their family opinion? I don't know. Citizens of the quarry near Babylon have unearthed a massive stone goliath. Really? Uh, its size and style suggest culture with which our scholars are not familiar. Uh, we can put it on display to gain 40 culture in Babylon. Or gain 80 stone. I'm gaining stone. I'm earning stone now. I think we take the 40 culture for sure in Babylon. What a way to go out. Hey, look at me. It's a stone m a Goliath. It must be a replica. It, in, in the next generation, it's gonna, the next year, they're all going to be like, no, that wasn't just a random find. We made a stone sculpture of the great prophesized 
King Chad. That's what's going to happen there. You can see how that unfolds. A question of s succession. Oh, in a moment of anxiety, your wife can <laughs> yet no confides in you after such a tragic loss as in her son's death. And she's finally come out of it. Now she's got fear, paranoia about the daughter, her favorite. The, let this one sink in. Her favorite. Maybe next. She pleads with you to change the succession to your other child, Iltani. I like this one better. One of them's probably going to die for being the heir. So please make it the younger. You jerk. No, she's the better ruler. And, uh, or Duchess Queen will still be next in line. No, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, Queen Consort. You're going to have to go out with a sad... She did not like us pretty much the whole time. She never... The whole family loved us except for her. So, you know, God, it is what it is. It just is what it... Why is this... Oh, religion. Oh, weird. Okay. There's religions under this. I didn't know that, that would show up there. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, the family just loves us. Look at that. 153. They're pleased with me. But she is not so pleased the whole time. I like that it doesn't change their relation. It's like the conversation went on in the background. And he's like, no, nah, no, we're not doing that. Not a chance. All right, next unit. Uh, let's see, actually, your military units. I do want these guys to shuffle. I want you to get over to here. Yeah, actually, you know what? Here, you pull up into this city, first of all. You don't have to be any further than that, I suppose. Wait a second, was that the full two year, two turns? Yeah, that was the full... He could have gone one order. Right there puts him in the city, right? So Babylon now has only minus two. Good. Worth doing. Get out of there. Uh, and you are coming down this way. Now, the other cities won't count because this is the wrong wrong people. Like if I bring him down here, Mari does not get a bonus because it's not a family member. So that's, that's, that's a really cool mechanic, I think. All right, you guys are getting into... Oh, you can't go any further, right? You're running out of orders? Fair enough. Moving on down. End the year. Mama got issues. Mama did have issues the whole time, but don't worry. Now she's got other issues. Oh, oh great. We just contacted Persia. What's our demeanor with the approach? Okay, um, this is this is, this is is kind of weird. Let's, let's ditch that for a second. There are other things that need to be dealt with. Not that. Oh I, oh, I can't prioritize. I have to respond to that one immediately. I've never seen a forced one. Or I've never noticed that there was a forced one. Oh, interesting. Um, you speak little of your people asking many questions. Persia gains 40 opinion. This one would be 30. And this one would be 20. For 30, 40, and 60 years. I'd rather have 60. Well, no. 40 opinion for 30 years is probably better. Oh, who dat? Who dat? Ben, kiss me. Assassinated. Who was assassinated? Me? No. Um. Close the neighbor's screen and the next one will pop up. I don't think it will. Close that and neighbors is the only one that let me pop up. You should be able to change the next things. Oh, I can go to the orders. Okay. Maybe we can skip that till later. But I'm not looking to like, I was trying to see what these other decisions are, right? End of an era, choose the research, right click to cycle in reverse. Oh, there we go. It wasn't letting me cycle forward because I had to make that decision. That's interesting. Yeah, once I get there, I can't keep cycling. That's fine. Um, do we take family? Uh, okay. Friendly approach will do well with in extroverted cultures. Cautious cultures might find it suspicious. I guess it doesn't... I don't know what their culture's like. His opinion of me is cautious. Is that, like, the culture? It's the only way place that shows culture. Or cautious. Um, sure, let's go with this one. They all could lead to different events. Okay, let's do that. I have no idea of the mechanic behind that one. Uh, it's time to choose your next ambition. Alright, see, we haven't finished that one. It's now a legacy ambition. But, because she's now leading, the new... Now, look at her... Look at her legitimacy. She starts with 42. That's pretty good. Ambitions finished. Oh, having finished an ambition boosts their overall legitimacy? Oh, so that's going to cascade quick as well. I like it. 
Um, five promotions desired by the Kassite. Found a religion. Uh, we could if I really thought we could pull that one off. Six archives. I think we go with the... Yeah, I think we're going to go with family here with the promotions. Because we are definitely doing promotions over the course of the time here. The next deal is the end of an era. A moment of silence. That was long enough. Bells ring. Morning fills the streets. King Chad the Strong has died. The end of an era. And all of Babylonia pauses to honor the contribution of our fallen ruler. Queen Dami the New has begun. All right. Long live the queen. Uh, she has two charisma. She is a rhetoric student. I'm not sure how she keeps that title as the queen, but she gains 40 XP. Nice. Good start. Good start. You learned how to be better because your daddy died. That's sad. Axeman? Oh, this is an upgrade from the Macemen, isn't it? Is this an upgrade? For... Oh, oh, damn it. I, I clicked the wrong button. <laughs> I was trying to read. I was trying to middle click to get information, to lock that thing to get information. No, lock that. There we go. Upgrades to pikemen and swordsmen. Is this? Glad I can enjoy it. <laughs> Running commentaries now. Keep it up. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate that. Welcome and uh, do come back. That'd be awesome. Um, hmm. See, this unlocks, this unlocks, oh no, I was, I was messing over it. It unlocks the Axemen, but isn't, don't, isn't the, I think a, Axemen and Macemen run separately. So what do they, what do they get? 25% strength in melee combat versus infantry. So they're really good at smashing other infantry. They have a strength of six. That consumes one order and three iron. Costs 150 iron. Wow, okay, maybe we don't have, maybe we're not prepped for that yet. Courthouse Improvement, Civic Boosts, Professional Army or Volunteers, Reduced Training Time for Infantry Units, Archives actually become Training, Medium Training, Medium Training. I think we go, we've got to go with a couple of these. Let's go with our um, Chariots are pretty mobile. They're a Mounted Melee Horse Unit. Um, they have, they start with route. That, that's the one you were, ta you were talking about there. And route is, uh, when killing units advances and can attack again. So when he kills a unit, he steps into the tile where he killed that guy and can then attack again, which would then mean if he kills that guy, he can step forward in another tile and attack again. Oh, I see that. Oh, <laughs> let's let's go with the chariots. That might be an interesting mechanic to start playing with. Not that we're doing much military playing right now, but you know it's a thing. Barracks in the city here. I think we go ahead with barracks in the capital. Probably a wonderful idea. Uh, you could probably do what? <clears throat> now wait a second. These guys don't. Doesn't game do a bonus for forestry something like that? Oh, 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 now what do I want to do? Where are you? Uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 camps. Adjacent lumber mills plus 20%. Yeah. Let's get a lumber mill going. You're done there. Now, I think we actually need some, uh, some farming going on in the city here as well. Uh, food is a catastrophic crying shame to be honest food is dropping dramatically oh this would add adjacency bonus oh does a pasture also add adjacent farms 40 percent well hello Adjacent farms to this will gain 40%. So if I go here, if I go here and I, sp I can't spend money to get the tree. <clears throat> uh, bad plan. Okay. If I go here and I cut down a tree. 
Why can I not cut down the tree? There we go. Cut down the tree. And then I go here. And then I can afford the pasture? Sad. I can't afford the pasture yet. Anybody else going to help me afford a pasture? Back up. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. You. Come over here. Uh, cut a tree. Come over here. Build a lumber mill. You. Come over here. And build a pasture. Puzzle games for the win! Up this way. Alright, that was actually fun. <laughs> that was unnecessarily enjoyable. Let's get up here. Ooh, a gold mine. Uh, it's so far away, it's only going to get 16 bucks for us. Um, it's worth looking into, and we might do that. Military units standing around. You can just literally, like, go uh, upgrades. Upgrade. That's five promotions. That is not upgrades. That's promoting. I thought about. I thought that was upgrades when I said it. Mm-hmm. That's definitely not upgrades. Okay. Why... Like, oh, we can promote. Steadfast gives him strength versus tribes and barbarians. I love that idea. That is one of the five. Okay. Now, you guys would cost 150 to promote. You would get ranger. Fighting from trees gives you a bonus. This is maceman, so no. Attacking across the river, probably too situational to matter. Although, attacking across the river is a hunt plus 150, or plus 50. So he's going to hit for like a truck. If he attacks from here. Oh, that's both very situational and very powerful. It wouldn't matter if the battle was going on here. But then, of course, we could always back off. Oh, I like that. What do you guys think? Yes? I think that's a great idea. Engineer. What about the focus? Focus is a critical chance 10%. I think this is, like, this, we can make this always the thing when he attacks. Basically. That's huge. We're using all these orders to do this, but that's that's a free promotion. Like, if I... We got a lot of points here. If I promote three more times, she gets an ambition. She gets ten points to her legitimacy. We gain an extra order for the rest of her life. And the future... And we get another uh, one of these available. Now, I'm not sure... I'm kind of leery if this discovery thing will disappear if we do this one first. I don't know. It... it it, I, it just, I don't know, it just popped in my head that that might, might be a concern. Does that happen? Do I want to risk it? Volunteers. In an act of solidarity, citizens of Akkad are volunteering in droves. They wish to show their local pride. Man, these smart sage people, they're so smart. Um, we can con command them to work or to fight. Do we gain a worker or do we gain a maceman? We really need workers. But that's amazement. <sighs> oh, this is the cultural event in the city. I see. Okay, so Akkad got its culture hit. Do we get a worker or do we get a maceman? Oh, tough choice. I mean, it probably isn't for some people. They'd be like, get this or like that. But hey, that's a really tough choice for me. We can harvest this thing for another... 50 goings! Cha-ching! Uh, then he could actually hop over here with two orders and harvest for another 50. Uh, yeah. Cha-ching! He's just gonna sit there every few turns, just bounce back and forth, which you can do. You can harvest for 10 food there. I really, like... Oh my goodness. That's five culture in Babylon? Why have I not been farming that? Oh my goodness. Ew, sadden, sadden, saddenness. Uh, you have one year left there. You are just finished. <clears throat> I think now we could put another, uh, not high, not what I meant to do. We could put another barracks in, couldn't we? I think it's two per city. Yeah, max per city, two. So, do, do I get 40 XP per year from two bar barracks in here? Ka-ching! <laughs> I, I think so. It feels like that's what that mechanic says. All right, you guys have a bonus to uh, mines and mills. Do we have any mining locations suitable here? 
Not really. This, however, is a... You can't get there. That's what that is. <clears throat> you can't do a thing this turn. So, next decision. Worker, worker, worker. Worker or maceman. I feel like our push should be towards workers right now. Oh, nice. This is a cultural event for Nippur. I like that one better. It's pretty obvious. Do we take 200 training or do we take a city walls? Yeah, I'll take the walls, thanks. I have no idea what they do, but who, who doesn't want city walls in your city? Happy is, what is it? Happy is the city whose walls already rise? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Does this help our culture? It should. That would be hilarious if that reduced the discontent by one per year. Just just half of the city walls. I think that's the thing they should do. Uh, as a throwback, you know. Uh, we got one order left. We're only getting 8.2 per turn. Because we're using 6 for construction. Okay, that's, that's a bit of a tell for me. I mean... Having our builders go crazy building stuff will make a mega economy. So maybe... All right, you're going to head up to the farm. That's what you're going to do. <clears throat> Volunteers, let's get the labor. I feel like we got to do that because, yeah, it's going to be expensive turn-wise or, or orders-wise. We can always idle them later if we have to use the orders for other things. But every year that they're working means our cities and our economy is booming. I like that. I like that a lot. Friendly visit. A family friend paid a visit to Queen Dami the New to her school, sending a glowing report about the heir's progress. Uh, she's not the heir. Wait. Itani, her sister, is the heir right now. She's only four years older than her sister. Um, she appears happy and healthy, and she's excited to to return home to take her place at court. I feel like this is a broken this one should not happen when you when your child is already the heir. Okay. Um, send her a gift of academic texts so she gains 60 experience or gain a point of charisma. She's already got two. Does she gain experience? If she gains the, 40, the 60 experience, that'll level her up. Which would mean she gets to do choose other things as well. Um, you know what? I feel like we maybe take that gamble to see what it is that she can do. I don't know what she gets as a child. So it says global plus two. That would not be the case. Plus one charisma should not global plus two. Wait a second. Charisma as... Uh, no, civics. How does that work? Leaders and governors. For leaders and governors, charisma increases. Increases civic. For generals, it increases unit defense strength. You know what? I'm going to go with the XP. See what that does, because that will level her up. Next turn, maybe? All right, get over here and get yourself going on some... Uh, oh. We'll do the farming in a minute. <clears throat> you finished, huh? All right. Uh, I'm going to get you... Is that a hill? That is a hill. You're going to go put in a mine, which will also cut down the trees. Oh, no, it costs 20. Yeah, but he'll remove 40. Bingo. Winning. And then you can... Wait. How does that not work? Oh, we don't have any orders left now. Okay, that's how that didn't work. So, in the year. You got a lot of people standing around, not enough orders. Oh, that's painful. Okay. Rome has begun the construction of the lighthouse. Coastal cities make 50 more dollar percent monies. Queen Demictum the New. She gained... An, oh, see, look. You become brave. General... As a general versus melee units plus 10 percent we can gain the courage or we can gain a discipline okay so probably should have gone the other way but that's all right wouldn't hurt to have her with a few other things too uh i'm gonna say she's probably not gonna run in the troops not for a while anyways let's go with discipline okay returning a favor i thought that might lead to something because he you know, gave him a favor. 
Uh, envoy of Siri returned to the capital, hoping to repay the favor. They giving you a choice of rewards. Ah, nice. A, ca a cavalry unit? A siege unit? We got to get a siege unit. Because, holy crap, I've never seen a siege unit before. Booyah! Look at that! That's a ballista! That's a ballista that's buried in a wonder. It's a lovely thing. Woohoo, look at it! Oh, yeah, what's it do? I have no idea. I'm just running it around because it's beautiful. All right, what does this guy do? Let's find out about siege weapons! All right, ranged and siege. Siege, attacking into urban plus 50%. Nice. Strength of five. Attacks forward two. Does that mean he hits this one, this one, and this one? Because this would be... Attacking forward was like the spearman, and he hit this and the one behind it. What? 100% strength when attacking versus infantry. Plus 50% attacking into an... Er oh my goodness. Sorry. Sorry, Scythia, but how many turns till he gets there? <laughs> He's going. We're, we're going after a new city. For sure. Like, 100%. We got this settler here. So, yeah, 100% we're doing that. I would really, really like to get a road down here. Because these are technically connected for trade. But nobody wants to sit and float on a inner tube all the way down there and then paddle all the way up this one. I don't know which way this flows, but clearly that way. So they all go down and they went to what? paddle their way back up that doesn't make any sense we could just put a road there that would be awesome but it doesn't work they oh hello i think i just realized what exploration movement along rivers does i bet you those things makes does exploration does anybody know this does exploration make rivers act as roads if that's the case that would have been huge for us two roads and everything would be connected as a road. Oh man, that would probably be huge. If that's the case, we might spend the 600 to change that. Because that would be huge, 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 huge. I said that, but huge. Um, okay, can we get Babylon? When they're done, let's remove that. When they're done, put this in. Uh, that's weird. Trapper. Do oh, Trapper doesn't have an icon yet. I see, no problem. Uh, so I am second-guessing my idea of these militia. Because the other units that we're getting are so much more powerful. Like, way, way, way more powerful than what we got there. Militia is, like, sort of relevant early on, it seems. But they just seem so way behind the game by the time we're hitting this point. Okay. Neighbors. Where rider right enters the castle is a message to the ruler of Persia, wishing... Oh, hey, right. Uh, this again. <clears throat> uh, we could send them 160 bucks to improve relations. Welcome all Persians to Babylonia. Could lead to future events. No kidding. Refuse to treat with them. Or give them 160 bucks and there's future... I, I'm okay with... Hmm, which one do we want? I don't know that I like this idea. That's going to cause some cultural issues. I think we go ahead and do this. I think we, if I hold alt, does that work on that one? No. That would be nice if it did. But it doesn't. That's fine. I can go... Ooh, I don't have much to sell. I guess we're selling... Uh, we're definitely selling stone. A couple units of stone is all we need to sell. You guys are making 33 a turn. That's a good income. We need we need everything else to be in those big numbers. Like, this needs to be like 200 and like 30s and 30s. That's what we got in our other game. All right, do that. Make them happy. Uh, we don't need to build move the settler yet. I think we go ahead and... Uh, do, we, do we build the road? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know, there's a camp down there, isn't there? So this is a bonus uh, lumber tile. Good. You have farm to build. Excellent. You have what to build? A farm over here to build, for sure. Except for we're out of orders now. Okay, no problem. 
See, that's the problem. We can just blow through. We're only making a surplus of 8.3 that we can actually use. Six of them are going every turn to construction. Rhetoric studies. Oh, look, she's upgraded. Uh, Queen Demi has got a new face. That's what this event is. Uh, has completed her studies in rhetoric and is now ready to contribute in court. Well, she's been contributing fairly aggressively. <clears throat> you know, leading. A uh, scholar. Um, beacon of knowledge. Inquiry. So she can either be scholar or diplomat. Okay. All foreign leaders gain plus 50 relations with her. That is really good. And she gains three charisma. <laughs> or we could give her three wisdom. And she would get scholar, which is uh, the inquiry in the capital, allowing to redraw cards. That's what her daddy had. Mm, I think we've got to go with the... Uh, the huge relations. So if we do this, she becomes a very diplomatic leader. So thematically, we're keeping positive relations with everybody. And we're picking who we pick our fights with, like the Scythians and the Numidians, when we want to expand. I think that's where we go, because that's going to allow her oh, 11 a turn. That's with the cities working. Nice. Very, very nice. So her sister is now who she's choosing, Iltani who in our other series, in our YouTube series, is actually the queen at this point. Um, <clears throat> still remember the birth of Princess Iltani. She's growing up fast and eager to learn. I, do you remember your little sister was like, you were six, so you probably do. Um, okay, does she have any traits yet? No. All right. If she's going to be the heir and her sister, I wonder if we can make her like head towards being a general to fight for the family. This one's like the leading... I think that that works for me, theme-wise. Theme All right, Settler, not ready yet. You need to absolutely keep moving. You're the top movement priority for military. In fact, you're the only movement priority for military. Everything else should be... Everyone else should be kind of sitting around. So you're just going to sentry. You're going to sentry. You're going to sentry. It's not causing... you. They're taking turns, right? No, it's not. And you're going to sit. You're not going anywhere. So, and you're also going to, you're just going to pass. Okay. We got that mine built. I was going to say quarry, but it's a mine. And we're going to come over here and we are going to culture bomb the crap out of this and see if this works. Hamlet. When that finishes, I'm curious if that will be a, oh, really? I'm, can we buy that? Uh, why can we not buy that? It says it's minus 28. But, oh, we only have 23. <laughs> That'd be why, right? That'd be why. Where's our uh, dude here? You get over here and whoop that up for some harvest. And we have another scout somewhere. You are sitting on a pile of gold. Can we make money off of you? No, it's already harvested. Darn. Oh, no, wait. We have no orders left. Oh, that's okay. Next year. <laughs> just just sat, stand there and... You can actually have them auto-harvest, apparently. There's a way to do that. I, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, complete a legacy. S discover six technologies. Excellent. That was a legacy. Um, whatever they're called. Doop -a doop 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 doop. A legacy ambition. So we now have two of them. I like it. I like it a lot. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Oh hey, look at who she. Who is she gonna go with? Numidian. Is the Numidian is difficult to resist. Uh, he is hardy. Uh, fatigue limit as a general plus two. Ooh, that's potent. Mary's. That's just creepy. <laughs> Look at the Numidian's name. <laughs> she can marry Chad. Wait, she can marry Nebuchadnezzar? Move along. <sighs> Kudur Enlil, the younger of the Amorite people. Interesting. Okay. So as a general, his actions would heal. Or he could heal with a heal action twice. Okay. Interesting. He's 43. Poor kid. Um, okay. Discipline plus two. Courage plus two. That's for him, not for her. Uh, or we could go with a Persian. A Persian. Um... Attacks across river as an engineer general. Add that with your maceman. Mm-hmm. And 
I don't think that would stack because he's already got the engineer boost. Boost. Oh, it's the named engineer. I am guessing that perk does not stack with a unit and a general that has it. That would seem a little ridiculous. If that's the case, he could walk up and one shot every city, which would be absurd. Which would be cool. <laughs> And broken. I think we re-roll. I think we look for uh, a local. I wonder. Maybe. Cyrus of Persia. Is this guy actually... Yeah, see, he's not like an heir of anything. We could switch the family. She could marry into another family. So, the heirs of the family... Leaders of the family, but then spouse would be of a different family. And you know what? I think we switch that. I think we... She's she's uh, young. We'll wait. Choose research. Well, we could do a food bonus for 200 extra food for... Uh, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. What was the other option? There was just one year? What's the other option? Divination shines. Yeah. We'll go with that. We'll grab the one year. We'll grab less than a year worth of research and we'll grab that uh, finish that up we need more food guys lots of more food so get up here and build the farm get over here and build a lumber lumber so little lumber uh, I got a builder somewhere I know I do wait did I grab the builder right no that's the maze man there's the builder uh, you can go down here and you can't do anything. Why? Are you? Oh, he's still working. Never mind. I'm trying to double down on him. Don't double dip there, dude. You can come this way. Whoa, that is really bad movement. Okay. Uh, do we have a, we have a builder who's not doing anything. You get over, how many is it? 20 food? Or 20 wood? If you get over here and you cut that, you will have no moves left. I really want to get that farm made. We have no money. Jeepers. Our economy is in super dire straits. Okay, speaking of economy. You. 16 harvest. That's... that. No, we're going to explore. 16 harvest is so far away that it's really, really expensive. So I'm just going to use the moves. We're going to... We got some improvements happening. Minus 17 on the food. People are going to starve, and that's going to be terrible. Excellent student. Diltani is an excellent tactics student. Wonderful. Uh, battlefield leadership gains commander. Mm-hmm. That's an amazing one as a leader, as the Empire leader. Because, look, all units get a fatigue limit of plus one. All cities can hurry production with population. Leader, all idle units gain 10%, or 10 XP per year. That's crazy. Um, or we could go with tactician. <clears throat> which, again, she's not going to be the leader, but as a general, two courage, two wisdom. Two courage, two discipline. I think we go commander. That's more the style I think she's look we're looking for her. So let's go that. A boastful heir. This is not us. This is Princess Antonia Fabia. Uh, is her, really? Oh, you're not having any luck with your princesses. <laughs> The last one we sent back to you with a lying note attached to her and you took her head. Now this one is boasting that she's better than you. <laughs> uh, much better ruler than she will be one day. King Romulus the noble chides her for the brashness and turns to her, turns to you for support. Antonia's youthful youth reveals her great ignorance. Well, uh, she is 21, we are 20. I feel like that's a little mm, uppity. Although, Antonio the... Oh, Antonio is correct. You are the laughing stock. So we could... Uh, oh, too bad. She's not eloquent. Otherwise, she could make them both happy. She should be eloquent. She's a super charismatic diplomat. But I think the right diplomatic choice for uh, King uh, Romulus, the 53-year-old over here, is to endear ourselves more to the heir than to him. Right now he's at plus 30 relation, so he'll drop to minus 50, but his uh, his daughter will have a relatively large boost. If you notice, <clears throat> there's a difference between those two descriptors. She would forever have a plus 40 relations with us. 
In this case, she would forever have a minus 40. The other guy's only 20 years. He's going to be dead in 20 years. So, we'll insult him, upset him a little bit, send him home, angry with his daughter, and his daughter will be smirking under her, <clears throat> under her tunic at him. Choose research. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, do we go with groves and the war elephant for eight years, or do we pop this one? Let's pop shrines first. The literate. Our scouts cross paths with an eccentric traveler who claims to have established a new system of communication. He says it is a, quote, written language known as alphabet, and that it uses symbols and inspiration to record knowledge for posterity. The guy's a wingnut. <laughs> Hard labor will ease his troubled mind. Gain a citizen in Babylon. <laughs> Adopt his alphabet and employ him at and employ him in court. Do we get Is that gonna give us a courtier? It seems like it would. Uh, gain propaganda in Babylon. Use the system to spread news of our civilization. Gain propaganda in Babylon. Uh, propaganda project in the city gaining plus 10% culture. It's not a very cultured city, unfortunately. So I think we go with, uh, bring him to court and we get 80 research instantly one, one time and we get a, no, apparently not. Or maybe he appears next turn. We'll have to watch for that. I thought that was maybe a little OP. <clears throat> okay. Who's next? Who's first? Who's what? This city has a three citizens standing around chewing up all our food that's part of the problem we got cities that are have citizens that aren't doing anything culture and money and orders and science or we put more into gaining increased uh, civics to grow the city better in this regard now i think we need to settle the citizens to work we well, got too many citizens sitting around for sure uh, okay uh let's see what else we have a military order need, unit needs orders. Yes, it sure does. Get on over here, friend. Does Ballista have full 28 damage? It does. It only moves one. That is painful. Um, how much power could we wield with this guy standing right here and smashing things from the shore? Or from across the river? How awesome would that be? Can we add a general? Who could we add? We can add a lot of generals. The queen could become the leader. Who's this? This is... Oh, they're scientists. She would stop being the tutor. Queen Dowager. That is his mom. Or her mom. And this is who? Who are you? Who are you, sir? Who are you? It's just a family member. Okay. Um, You're like some distant relative of the family? I don't know. Do we send mommy over to do the fighting? She's not super stellar at it, but, you know, her hubby did the last war. Maybe maybe mom goes out there and does the fighting. We don't want the scientist to go because, well, that would take her away. We could gain, oh, plus three experience per year. Gains experience from combat. Maybe we do put her as, yeah. Yeah, let's put the queen in. This sounds dangerous. She sounds like she's probably going to die and leave the family airless. But, you know, she's got her sister. Uh, you can stand still for a while. <clears throat> Choose research. I didn't just say that. It's okay. Oh my. We could get a free chariot card. Uh, yeah. Mm, I think, I think so. Next unit. Uh, premature? Yes. <laughs> yes, it's a little premature. All right. Do we do the road thing? Do we do the road? We got laws we can pass? We do. All cities gain science. We gain five orders per turn. People get a little upset. I think we need the five orders per turn. That would really boost the empire right now. Or we go with the river exploration. Is that what this does? I really feel like that turns our rivers. It says movement along, bonus along rivers. I think that makes our rivers move. But if we do that, it costs us 600. It takes away the epic from the culture. And uh, it's uh, also would cost it well it would cost us a bunch of culture that we couldn't put in or civics that we couldn't put into here hmm <sighs> I think that's what that does and it 
In retrospect, I might have chosen it, but 600 points? That wastes the 400 we put in before, plus cost 600? Yeah, no, that's too much. Too much, too much. I think we got to go slavery. Plus two science is not nearly as valuable as plus five movement per year right now. We can always adjust it later or... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's... She, it's time It's time to uh, get some more work done. We need more orders because now she's got 18. That's a big deal. Requires coin debasement. <laughs> wow. Wow. You could buy 100 orders for 2100 bucks. What? A hundred orders? When would that ever be? Wow. A hundred orders. Uh, sell orders for uh, ten. Something called win a war in a day. But you can't because you won't have mobility. You won't have the ability. Like your units are limited. Man, that, you know, buy, being able to buy ten orders is huge. 207 bucks? It's dirt cheap. But you need a super, probably a super future tech. Uh, this is a training for orders, which isn't very valuable. And legitimacy, good gracious. You get five orders for it, but wow. You spend a legitimacy point permanently? No, thank you. Okay. Building, 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 building. Now, you need definitely need to pop that other quarry in. Priority number two, actually. Oh, wait. You can put this in, right? Or can you? Do we have groves yet? We do not have land consolidation yet, so no. We get this farm built. Oh, look, we have no trees. Still no trigger? Oh, we're making 17 a turn now, actually. That's pretty decent. Um, We could go scrub cut this one. If we go... No, we don't have the orders to get there. Okay, we're out of orders again. Lovely. You're not out of orders. What could you do that would be useful? Oh, we have the... Oh, right, 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 right. The shrines. Um, okay. Now, are these guys... These guys should all be training right now, right? Like, you should be getting a bunch of training XP. Why is he getting no XP? Or the barracks just finished? Okay. I was thinking... No, we've got two barracks here. Do you have to be standing in it? Oh, tell me that's not true. I thought they had to be in the city to get that bonus. They may have to actually be standing on the barracks. Which is... Which makes me kind of kind of sad inside. Oh my goodness. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Oh, chat. Apadana's completed in Greece. We have now got the learned. Excellent. Text discovery times five. She's become, become the learned. You have to say it right. The learned. Uh, that's awesome. So she gains uh, another... She's at 67. She's almost near kind of daddy's levels already, eh? She's, she's sort of in that category. In daddy ish level of, I think he got to what, 70 something, 80 something? I don't know. Only his, in his first or his last three years, though. Yeah. Now when she, now when he's 21, that's called generational wonders. Uh, she gets the learn. She's got an ambition finished, a leg, legacy, or legacies finished. Oh, there we go. Okay. So legacies finished only gave her five leg, uh, legitimacy. So she finished her dad's plan, gave her five legitimacy. Finished her own ambition, got 10. Big deal. Okay, now we have orders. You can be promoted. We want to promote you to Steadfast, which makes you damage fighting from Urban or fighting versus Barbarians. Let's go with that. Chariot Tutorial. Hey, hey. Hello, hello. These guys are awesome. These guys are really awesome. Let's bring him... Oh my goodness, let's bring him all the way over here. Wham! No, let's not do that. That was a bad idea. Let's say, wait a turn, and promote you first. Right? Uh, we can give him Tracker for his huge vision. We can give him bonus. We can Horsebane versus Mounted, or versus Infantry, or overall combat. I'm thinking we're going versus Infantry. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh. Mm-hmm. SMRT 25% versus mounted would make him very well more situational 
than not. Uh, leads to Swift and Hardy. Fatigue limit plus two. Swift movement plus one. Horsebane doesn't lead to any. Fierce doesn't. Combat one leads to combat two. Hmm. Let's go Horsebane. That might be fun. Give them some interesting op options there. Can we promote you? We sure can. You are... Didn't we promote you before? Didn't, didn't we already promote him? No, he starts with Sniper. Really? I thought we promoted him before. Uh, attacking into Urban is plus 25%. I mean, we really kind of got to do that. That's his point, right? Yeah. Oh, there's the five promotions ambition. She said 77. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. 